activists. A 73-year-old British national is dead and 30 passengers injured due to severe turbulence on a Singapore Airlines flight. The flight from London to Singapore made an emergency landing in Bangkok. Danish is standing by with more on this tragic incident. Danish, what do we know about what transpired? Well, according to the data from Flight Radar 24, the aircraft was cruising at an altitude of 37,000 feet before suddenly descending to 31,000 feet within three minutes. Singapore Airlines confirmed the injuries and the fatality, extending the deepest condolences to the family of the deceased. The airline is working with local authorities in Thailand to provide necessary medical assistance and is sending a team to offer additional support. This incident marks the first passenger fatality on a Singapore Airlines flight in over two decades. Earlier this year, turbulence on a Qantas flight also resulted in multiple passenger injuries, highlighting the ongoing concerns and anxiety turbulence causes among air travellers. Turbulence is caused by irregular air motion, often experienced as a jarring, bump-like sensation. Its intensity can vary significantly depending on the altitude and weather conditions, particularly in the summers. While pilots are well trained to handle turbulence, it is always advisable for passengers to keep their seatbelts fastened for safety. Absolutely. We are seeing the number of incidents uh, involving turbulence on airlines increase and a lot of this, according to research, also has to do with climate change. So even when the seatbelt sign goes off, unless you absolutely have to, then try and keep your seatbelts on. In international